On October 12th, Bellator FC returns to Caesars Windsor and features the first round of the promotion's 145 pound tournament. In the main event of the night, one of the sport's most exciting lightweight fighters, Eddie Alvarez, takes on the skilled and dangerous Brazilian Patrique Pitbull Freite. Over Alvarez's 26 fight career, he has amassed an impressive 23 3 record, dispatching some of the sport's most recognizable names and top ranked competitors from around the world in thrilling fashion. The former Bellator 155 pound king was involved in one of the best fights of 2011. Oh, another big right hand! He's hurt! He's hurt badly! When he lost his championship belt to tournament winner Michael Chandler. The two waged war over the course of four rounds before Alvarez was forced to submit to a rear naked choke. Eager to get back on his horse, the 28-year-old athlete would rebound from his loss to Chandler when he was paired with Japanese submission ace Shinya Aoki in a rematch this past April. Less than three minutes into the bout, Aoki's corner was forced to throw on the towel, declaring Alvarez the winner by TKO. In his way of another victory is the unheralded Freite, who will no doubt look to make a statement and steal the spotlight away from his American rival. Although the 26-year-old does not have the same in-ring experience as his opponent, the Team Noguera fighter has proven to have all the tools necessary to compete with many of the sport's top lightweight fighters. In addition to a varied skill set, Pitbull always puts forth exciting performances and tries his best to end the night of his opponent before the allotted 15 minutes. In featherweight quarterfinal tournament action, slick Brazilian submission fighter Nazareno Malagari takes on the hard-hitting Rad Martinez in this clash of styles. Of Malagari's 22 victories, 13 have come by way of submission, so fans can anticipate the battle to hit the mat at some point. However, if Martinez can stop the ground battle and slug it out on the feet, he might have the upper hand. Martinez boasts an 11-1 record over his past 12 bouts and is currently enjoying a three-fight winning streak, so his confidence should be high. Although Malagari is known as a submission specialist, he does have seven wins by TKO, so expect him to be willing to test the water standing before taking it to the mat. In the second quarter-final pairing, Alexander Shlomenko training partner Akop Stepanian takes on BJJ black belt Wagni Fabiano. Over his 15-fight career, the Armenian has never fought outside of Europe and will be taking on one of the most decorated submission specialists he has faced to date. The WEC veteran Fabiano has been away from the sport for almost two years, and one would imagine that at 37 years of age, he might be nearing the end of his pro tenure. However, if he can play his game and shake off the ring rust, it could breathe new life into the battle-tested Brazilian. Two 12-1 fighters collide when Mike Richmond takes on skilled submission specialist Jeremy Spoon in this featherweight quarterfinal pairing. Spoon is hoping to rebound from his only setback as a professional, a unanimous decision defeat to Season 6 featherweight tournament winner Daniel Strauss in March. Fans should expect Spooner to wait for an opening before forcing the fight to the canvas and trying to exploit his opponent's submission deficiency. Richmond is hoping to extend his winning streak to four straight and throw his name into the deep featherweight picture. In the last quarterfinal bout, Joe Stevenson trained Cody Bollinger, who was unbeaten in his previous seven bouts, to try and take out the mysterious 9-1 warrior Shabalat Shamalav.